Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Alexis, for anybody who doesn't know, welcome if you're new or welcome back if you have been here before. I am the author of A Journey Into Truth, Unveiling Life Secrets for Truth Seekers. This book is about my last six years of my life, the things I've been through, the adventures I've been on since I started a spiritual journey, the teachings I've learned and also some of the lessons of, and life philosophies that I have picked up along the way. So if you're interested in that book, you can find out more information on my website, www.vibrate2create.com. You can also find me on Instagram at vibrate2create. Here on Vibrate2create, I talk about all things spiritual and metaphysical. I also talk about my own life experiences, my life philosophies, and sometimes unsolicited advice. I also make reaction videos to things like spiritual teachers, spiritual teachings, inspirational videos, motivational videos, and sometimes funny videos and I sometimes also make entrepreneurial videos talking about how to self-publish your own books. If you're interested in that kind of content you can click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell to be notified of when I post new videos. So today I thought of a video that I saw a while ago and it's about the butterfly effect. Let me see if I can find it. I have not looked it up yet but I saw it like years ago. Let's see. Yes, this is the one. Okay, so this is called The Butterfly Effect. This video will change your life. Documentary. It's nine minutes long. And it is from four years ago. I remember seeing it and I was like, this is so inspiring. Like, I remember getting chills everywhere. So I'm excited to watch it with you guys. Hopefully it inspires you. Here we go, here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> The Butterfly Effect, a name and concept formulated by American meteorologist and mathematician Edward Norton Lorenz in the 1960s, is the theory that one small change in the starting condition of an event, such as the flutter of an innocent butterfly soaring through the sky, can have a dramatic effect on the outcome of an event, like cause a tornado on the other side of the world, or less drastic, cause a plane to experience turbulence. This video will have an impact on the outcome of your life in ways you probably never thought until you learn about the butterfly effect. So how can we relate and physically see this? Well, like I said, every single event in reality is the result of a past action. But there are some examples that will reminisce with all of us because the action started out so small yet had such a devastating or positive outcome on all of our lives. Let's take a look at a few of those examples. World War I was an event that changed the course of all of our lives. But what if World War I never took place? Well, that in theory could be equally as damaging, because another more devastating war may have broken out. But just what if? But many say World War I was destined to happen. And they're probably right. World War I was a combination of many things. But it can be narrowed down to one small event that, if altered, could have changed its course entirely. Mm -hmm. And that was the wrong turn I and the story of the car. A car that was carrying the Archduke of Austria, Franz Ferdinand. You see, on the morning of June the 28th, 1914, France's car was attacked with a grenade, which failed to hit its target, but instead injured passengers on the car behind. Later that day, France wanted to visit those wounded by the blast, and whilst en route, the driver of his car made a wrong turn down a street. Standing outside a car on this very street was 19-year-old Serbian Gavrilo Princip, one of the men involved in the attack on France that morning. He spotted the car had stalled whilst trying to turn around in the road, ran over and shot Franz and his wife dead. If not for the wrong turn made by Franz's car, he would not have been shot. If he had not been shot, Austria-Hungary would not have declared war on the home country of the man who shot him, which caused Germany to declare war on Russia, followed by France and Belgium, causing the UK to declare war on Germany, starting World War I. Had Franz not been assassinated, World War I would never have happened that way. It may not have been prevented, but it certainly would have started differently, potentially changing its outcome. All because a car took a wrong turn and stalled in the middle of the road. Whilst on the subject of world wars, you may have heard before that one pull of the trigger could have prevented World War II and the death of over 60 million people. Henry Tandy, a British soldier, allegedly bumped into Adolf Hitler in a French village in 1918 when a wounded Hitler walked into his line of fire. But Henry decided against shooting him, 
before a young Adolf nodded at him and walked away. Had he shot him, Adolf would not have been the driving force behind World War II, and it's anyone's guess what would have happened. World War II would have surely been different, and it may or may not have started, which may have been for better or for worse. Because that would have had a knock-on effect on your ancestors, who may never have met because of the fact World War II never took place, or had a different outcome, thus resulting in you never being born. But think about this, if Henry had pulled the trigger, although a war may have started, have 60 million everywhere. people may not have died. Oh. So just think, out of those 60 million who died, they could have gone on to have children, some of which could have been the next Einsteins or world-changing visionaries. All because one man decided against pulling the trigger. You can never know. You can never know in life what would have happened or what could have happened if one action was not taken or if one big world event didn't happen but it's almost like it always happens for a reason and it's and people would tell me like all the time like things don't happen for a reason like life just happens but like I totally believe that things happen for a reason because of the way that I've seen my own life transpire and how the hardships had led to me discovering myself and to me becoming a new person and then to me wanting to help others like it seems like it all just works together to kind of culminate and create this specific one life for my life this one is interesting and is quite popular because if JFK had not been assassinated who knows what the outcome that would have had on the United States well, what if it could be traced back to when he was around 20 years old, that if he had chose to do something different on one certain day, he would not have been killed all those years later? You see, in 1940, 23 years before he was assassinated, he had an accident whilst playing sports, which is thought to be the driving force of Okay, before this keeps going, I want to tell you guys a story that's in my book. And I took it from many other teachers that I've learned from. But I wanted to bring it into the book because it's so powerful for what I was trying to teach inside the book, which was the idea of looking at things as not right or wrong or good or bad in our lives. Because sometimes these things that we see as the worst things that could have happened in our lives end up becoming the best things to happen to us. So in this story, you can look up the full parable or story online, but it's about a man and his horse. and. So this boy, he has a horse, and I need to look at the story again, but this boy has a horse, and something happens to the horse. The horse runs away, and the people of the village say, oh, that's so horrible, I'm so sorry, you lost your horse. And the father of the son says, maybe it's good, maybe it's not good. Uh, who knows, basically. And then a whole herd of horses come back, and so everybody goes, oh, you're so lucky that you got all these horses. And then the father says, maybe it's good, maybe it's not good. And then I think some. I think the next thing that happens is the son goes riding on one of the horses and he falls and breaks his leg. And the people say, oh, that's so bad, I'm so sorry, that's horrible. And the father says, maybe it's good, maybe it's not good. And then they, there's like a war that breaks out and they don't have to go into the war because the son broke his leg on the horse. And everybody says, you're so lucky that you broke your leg. And the father says, maybe it's good, maybe it's not good, who knows? And so looking at everything that happens in our life, like who knows if it's actually what we see as this horrible thing happening to us, that it is actually what is leading to the best parts of our lives or the best goodness of our lives. And good comes with bad and bad comes with good. There is this understanding of no matter what, good and bad is always going to happen in our lives and then gaining this idea of equanimity or this kind of I don't want to say higher perception because that, that sounds a little bit not like what I'm trying to say but more like this understanding of going with the waves surrendering and riding with wherever life takes us because it's just going to happen however it happens also we have choices of what actions we take too and this is all like who actually knows if that's true because if you learn from people who are all into astrology they're like oh but this and this and this but who knows if that's true so really like you just got to keep an open mind and be like i don't know man i don't know i don't know anymore <laughs> but like just that's why i find it so interesting just this big mystery that can never be understood but deeper layers can always be uncovered and it's just kind of like digging like an archaeologist digging for something brand new that's how I see being in this field. Always learning more. 
Let's just keep watching. Let's keep watching. Behind his never ending struggle with back pain. If not for the back pain, he would not have worn a back brace. If he had not been wearing a back brace on the day he was assassinated, he would have slumped or fallen after the first non fatal shot hit him. But instead, he stayed upright because of his back brace, allowing his body to be positioned perfectly for a second shot. Many experts have all agreed, if not for the back brace that was the result of years of lower back pain fueled from this sporting accident many years previously, JFK would have been able to duck out the way after the first shot, and the second fatal shot wouldn't have been feasible. Take the handful of people who were late for work on the morning of 9-11, all the facts that See Seth this, Farlin, Mr. this specifically, it's like everything happens for a reason. The day that these people decided not to go into work, it's almost like that was fate. Like, Or maybe it was their intuition telling them we need to stay home today or we have something else to do. It's almost like the they get taken in a different direction for a reason. It's so interesting to me. I have chills. He was drunk the night before preventing him being killed that day, which would have been the end of Family Guy, and the millions of hours spent by people watching that show would have been spent doing something else, which would have resulted in a different outcome for those people. All of them. Take this Kane, huge ripple United effect because Airlines of this one man who made this one TV show. Incorrect ...into the airline's computer system before 9-11, which in turn led to her not being on her original scheduled flight 175. Take the fact the US Space Shuttle's two side thruster rockets had to be made a smaller size due to the fact they passed through many tunnels during transport. Tunnels which were made 2,000 years ago and were built at the time just fit the width of two horses carrying a chariot. As someone put it, one of the most complicated and groundbreaking pieces of machinery in history had to be designed to fit around a decision made 2,000 years ago. Take this and the hundreds of personal scenarios you can think of relating to events that happened in your life. And you wonder how things could have been different, for better or for worse, if one little piece was taken away. If my parents had never met, I would never have been born. If I was never born, at 3,200... I'm gonna wait till they pass so you can hear. Okay. ...plus years that has been spent watching my videos by millions of people, which has literally changed the outcome of the world in some way or another, would never have happened. Sure, everyone would have done other things in that time, or watched other videos, but because it would have been different, maybe less or more time spent watching, different conversations with people or different thoughts, depending on which video you've watched, a different outcome would result. Now, this is a question I do often ask myself. I wonder if by someone sitting and watching one of my videos, that prevented them from maybe going outside and getting into trouble. Or that maybe, those five minutes spent watching one of my videos, or anyone else's video, Men they had something in common with a person that led to them dating and potentially starting a family down the line. Now, I am not the cause of that or taking any credit for a scenario like that, but we are all here to serve a purpose one way or another, and we all seem to shape each other's lives a lot more than we think. And when you learn more about this, you will soon come to realise, as I explained, why the title of this video is not clickbait. The minutes you have spent watching this video has changed the outcome of your life, and in turn the lives of millions of others because your actions today will be different. Some may be instant tiny things that happen today or this week, but in time, what happens today will have a snowball effect on the direction of your life, which in turn can and will have a huge effect on everyone's life around you. But what does all this mean? Well, your life is precious and is the result of billions of events that have led to your existence and the billions more that will become your future. So go after that project you've always wanted to. Ask that person out, because 10 years down the line you may have started a family with them. And never underestimate the tiny actions you make, because they can have an enormous outcome on not only your life, but potentially the lives of so many people for years to come. So if you ever thought your life doesn't matter, believe me, it really does. Oh. <laughs> Chills throughout the whole video. Oh, it's so good. He didn't make that video? I wouldn't have known about that video if I never came across this video. You guys would not be watching this video. I really believe that, that everything happens for a reason. That every action we take leads to change in the world. And even sometimes when it looks like somebody has taken an action that was bad or an action that was... that affected someone's life in a negative way, sometimes that can become the butterfly effect that causes a transformation, that causes something beautiful to come out of it like I'm doing all of these reaction videos to like 
celebrities or rappers or people who came from really tough upbringings and I myself came from some really hard circumstances too not hard like some people have had it but hard in my own way and when you look at those people how they transformed and how they ended up creating such a beautiful change in the world and created the beautiful change in so many lives of others and then those people have changed their lives and their lives and their lives it's just this massive ripple effect that all began with one really hard circumstance whether it was an abusive partner an abusive parent it was being born in an orphanage or if it was being a drug dealer at one point of your life or being addicted to something it's almost like this hardship this bad circumstance this falling off of the horse and breaking your leg is actually what led to the beautiful manifestation of the transformation that led to the transformation of so many other lives so for me i like to question whether or not something is actually bad or actually good but see it all as like part of what it is supposed to be accepting it as it comes and then taking the inspired action to to make these videos and to write my book and to take that action that i feel like this is what i'm supposed to be doing this is what the next step that i feel like i'm supposed to be taking this is what i feel like i need to do next and just taking that path taking each little step after the next and who knows where it will lead even if it led nowhere after i'm here all the lives that come into contact with this information who knows how their life would change and I wouldn't even be here to sh like I can't even know okay this reminded me of something when I used to work at the crystal shop I was like I'd love to talk to people about spirituality and spiritual ideas and the things that I had experienced and the things that I was learning and so this guy came and a lot of people would come back just because they wanted to talk to me, not even to buy things. They just liked interacting and learning. And I liked learning from them too. But this guy came and he, um, apparently, like a year prior, I had talked to him about spirituality and about the things I was learning and the things from the jungle, medicines from the jungle that I learned about. And he came back a year later. I didn't remember his face. I didn't remember anything about him. It was early in the morning, so nobody was at the mall, and it was just us there. It was this quiet moment. He came up to me, and he said, You changed my life. Like, I don't know if you remember me, but I came a year before, and you were telling me about all these spiritual ideas and spiritual things, and I learned from you, and now I have gone on all of these different steps and gone on my own adventure and my own journey and I met so many beautiful people and I'm so grateful that I had that one conversation with you. And I remember I had tears in my eyes and I was like, what? <laughs> I, did, I didn't do anything, I just talked to a person and it led to somebody taking so many massive steps. And if you look at my life, the one man who was in the college classroom and on that one day and made that one presentation and he talked about energy and vibration and if my life hadn't been in the hardship that it was in at that moment when I met him I may have not been so inspired to start learning about all of these things and figuring it out that then I would have never gone on the journey to go on all of those adventures and to end up in the jungle and to end up meeting all the people that I've met or to touch all the lives that I've met when I was working at that booth or when I was going on my own adventures and having those conversations and who knows what those have those conversations have led to who knows where this conversation that you're listening to will lead to is just like what <laughs> interesting very cool stuff if you guys have any comments any questions you can leave them down in the comments below if you have another video that's inspiring that you'd like for me to react to you can send it to my email vibrate to create at gmail.com or you can also leave it in the comments you can find me on Instagram at vibrate to create My book will be coming out February 2nd, 2022. And if you want more information, go to my website, www.vibratetocreate.com. And it's an honor to be here with you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to release this book. Okay, anyways. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!